What's up guys? I hope you guys are doing well. I hope that everyone's having a great day and thanks for joining me for your daily dose of Star Wars. GQ has recently interviewed Adam Driver and Yahoo Japan has interviewed Daisy Ridley. We got to hear each of them talk about their characters in The Last Jedi. The Adam Driver issue of GQ for anyone who's wondering will hit newsstands Thursday, November 2nd if you're wanting to pick one up. We're going to break this video into two parts. The first part of this video will go over Adam Driver's interview with GQ and the second half will go over Daisy's interview with Yahoo Japan. Adam Driver informs us on why he was originally drawn to the character of Kylo Ren. He says, I remember the initial conversations about having things skinned, peeling away layers to evolve into other people, and the person Kylo's pretending to be on the outside is not who he is. He's a vulnerable kid who doesn't know where to put his energy, but when he puts his mask on, suddenly he's playing a role. JJ had the idea initially and I think Ryan took it to the next level. You have also the hidden identity of this princess who's hiding who she really is so she can survive and Kylo Ren and her hiding behind these artifices. I'm honestly not sure what to make of Adam Driver using the word princess. I don't think it means Rey has royal origins. I think that Adam Driver was using the word as a generic term for the female lead. And that this was an intentional misdirection but the fact remains that he did call Rey a princess so it either is a misdirect or it means something. Adam Driver also took some time to talk about Carrie Fisher. It's hard to talk about it without saying generic things. Like it's shocking, but it was. Or it's incredibly sad, which it is. I mean it's all of those things. Adam remembers Carrie's advice to him before a Comic Con event by saying, The whole cast was downstairs in a conference room, talking through what's supposed to happen at this big event. She was like, Just pretend you're down to earth. People love that. Adam laughed for a moment, and then he continued on by saying, So now I pretend I'm down to earth, and you know what? People really do love it. They eat it up. Adam reminisces going back to the premiere of The Force Awakens, knowing he was about to kill Han Solo. When I watched the premiere, I felt sick to my stomach. Immediately, I thought I was going to puke. I was holding my wife's hand, and she's like, You're really cold. Are you okay? Because I just knew what was coming. I kill Harrison Ford and I didn't know how the audience of 2,000 people was going to respond to it. Daisy Ridley met with Yahoo Japan, talks about her first time shooting with Mark Hamill. Actually, when I first shot with Mark, I felt sick and threw out what I ate, but it worked very well this time. Mark is a really amazing person. When I watched The Force Awakens, I did not know what was in front of that scene, but this time I knew what would happen next time. So I thought, with a different feeling, literally the previous work, Thanks to the continuation from the continuation, if that makes sense, it was a wonderful shot. When it comes to Rey's parents, Daisy promises answers in The Last Jedi and follows it up by saying, Whatever the answer is, I hope everyone will enjoy that moment. I knew the answer a few years ago, but the story created by Ryan Johnson is such a wonderful thing that myself is unpredictable. And to be honest, I was touched very much. I think that everyone will be the moment when the mind is moved which means when we get an answer, everybody will finally be happy and satisfied. I'm finally happy Daisy says we will find out who Ray's parents are, because I don't think I could take another two years of not knowing and having all of us debate her origins. That wraps things up for me here in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. If you're a daily coffee drinker and want to be one of the first to see a new video as soon as it goes live, hit that bell down there to receive a notification on your iOS or Android device. Thank you guys for watching. As always, keep loving Star Wars. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.